Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How did civil rights legislation in 1975 and 1990 affect education for children with disabilities? Have you ever wondered how children with disabilities were treated in schools before the 1970s? It was a very different time, and many of these children were either excluded from education or received very little support. But everything changed with the passage of some crucial laws. In 1975, the Education for All Handicapped Children Act, or EHCCA, was signed into law. This law later became known as the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, or IDEA. It was a game changer because it guaranteed a free and appropriate public education, or FAPE, for every child with a disability in the United States. Before this, many children with disabilities were either institutionalized or received no education at all. Only about 20% of children with disabilities attended public schools, and even then, they often didn't get the support they needed. The EHG mandated that schools identify and assess children with disabilities and provide them with special education services tailored to their individual needs. This included creating Individualized Education Plans, or IEPs, which are still used today to ensure each child gets the education they deserve. The law also required that these children be educated in the least restrictive environment possible meaning they should be in classrooms with their non-disabled peers as much as possible. Fast forward to 1990, when the EAHCA was amended and renamed the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, IDEA. This update expanded the law to include more disabilities, such as autism and traumatic brain injury. It also made significant changes to how schools handle disciplinary actions for students with disabilities. For example, Schools could remove a student from school for up to 45 days if they were involved in drug or weapon use, but they still had to provide educational services during that time. The 1997 amendments to IDEA further refined these rules, emphasizing access to the general curriculum and providing more opportunities for parental involvement in resolving disputes with schools. These changes ensured that schools continued to improve their services for children with disabilities making sure they had the best chance to succeed in school and beyond. Today, thanks to these laws, nearly all children with disabilities in the United States have access to education that meets their needs. The impact has been profound, transforming the educational landscape and ensuring that every child, regardless of their disability, has the opportunity to learn and grow alongside their peers. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.